All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, Responsive Web Design. Learn CSS Transforms by Building a Penguin, Step 103. So now we're going to change the penguin's elements, pardon me, the penguin elements transition behavior during transformation to have a duration of one second, a timing function of ease in out, and a delay of zero milliseconds. Okay. So for this one, we're going to have to look up this transition stuff. So let's come over here and say CSS transition, CSS transition, just like that. Uh, we'll come over to W3Schools and we'll check it out right here. So we see we've got a transition delay, duration, and timing function right here. Uh, so let's start off with the elements transition uh, time duration. Okay, let's start with the duration. So we'll just take this transition duration, copy this. We'll come down here, paste it right there, and say 1s for one second, right? So now we're going to do this timing function thing. So we'll come on, come over here and get this transition timing function. Let's copy that, paste it right in here. And let's say that's now ease hyphen in hyphen out, all right? And then we're going to have a delay. So let's come over here and see transition delay right here. Let's take this, copy it, and put uh, transition delay and we're going to have zero MS, just like that. So now this should be moving a little bit more smoothly, I guess. Uh, let's take all these out and then put it back. All right. What? <laughs> I guess that didn't work. Uh, one more one more try. How about, how about let's try again? All right. So this is, you see, pop, pop, pop. It's like more, it's like stopping real abruptly and then let's put do a control z and you see this is a little bit more smooth all right so let's check it looks good and submit it all right now we're on to step 104 and we'll see you next time